Hey, heathens. <coughs> All right, how many of you are tired of the Pascal's Wager uh, argument? Show of hands? Okay. This is the quintessential end all be all. They will shut the hell up response to the Pascal's Wager. What is Pascal's Wager? Some of you may ask. Well, let's define it using the God Delusion. Uh, page 103, Dawkins describes Pascal's Wager. It says, uh, the great French mathematician uh, Blas uh, Pascal reckoned that. <coughs> something in my throat. <coughs> However long the odds against God's existence might be, there is an even larger asymmetry in the penalty for guessing wrong. You better believe in God because if you are right, you stand to gain eternal bliss, and if you are wrong, it won't make any difference anyway. On the other hand, if you don't believe in God and you turn out to be wrong, you get eternal damnation, whereas if you are right, it makes no difference. Uh, on the face of it, the decision is a no-brainer, believe in God. And he goes on to absolutely destroy that argument. But I go one step further. <clears throat> Here's the thing. The argument is, if you believe in God, and you're right, it's good. If you're wrong, it doesn't matter. If you don't believe in God, and you're right, it doesn't matter. If you're wrong, it's bad. So it's like a you know, no-win situation for us atheists. But that's not true. Because <clears throat> you see, you as a Christian have to uh, choose between what God you're going to choose. And is the Christian God the correct one? There's a bunch of gods. What if you've got it wrong? And that's been the argument that us atheists have always done. I offer a new argument. Okay, That one's still good. It's still valid. It, it, it works perfectly. It's a, it is the perfect defense. Until now. For this, we go to the Bible. More specifically, Deuteronomy. Starting with verse, uh, oh, sorry, chapter 13. Verses 6 through 7 basically says that uh, you should kill anyone who tries to take you away from your God. Um, which is not talking about atheism because they're talking about something that's, you know, you're trying to, it says, uh, uh, trying to get you to worship other gods. <clears throat> we don't try and get you to worship another God. We simply say there is no God so it's not us but you should kill anyone who tries to take you away from your God <clears throat> uh, two, uh, 2 through 7 in chapter 17 orders the death of anyone who breaks the covenant however uh, again it stipulates that it has to be included in the idea of worshipping other gods um, uh, chapter 28 63 says um, uh, and it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do uh, to do you good and to multiply you so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught and ye shall be plucked off from the land whither thou goest to possess it um, and again this is in references reference to serving other gods so he's going to do a lot of bad things to people who don't believe in him but do believe in another God but it never says any of this stuff about people who just straight up don't believe in a God so if you believe in another God you're screwed well what if the Bible got it wrong and there's another God who thinks the exact same way and he's gonna get you because you're worshiping another God we're safe because we're not worshiping an another God we're not worshiping any God so that makes us safe more proof on that okay um, how about Leviticus 24.16 talks about uh, blaspheming the, the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. Well, now I asked uh, a very good uh, um, Jewish online uh, companion of mine, who uh, uh, very intelligent, uh, Judea non capta, um, about this. And he said that uh, it doesn't apply to me because, number one, I'm not Jewish. Uh, number two, because I'm not Jewish, uh, I can't. it's talking about blaspheming the name of the Lord. And since I can't say the name of uh, God properly, and I don't want to know how to say it properly because, hey, that would be bad. So since I can't say it properly, that doesn't apply to me. Ah, but if you do believe in God, then that does apply to you and you, get, you can get stoned to death. So again, I'm still safe. Um, God orders the destruction of the followers of uh, uh, Baal Peor in Deuteronomy 4.3. Deuteronomy 6.15 says if you worship another God, uh, Yahweh will destroy you off the face of the earth. Deuteronomy 12.30 says he'll destroy people of other religions that do not, and you should not learn from them. Um, so this is all 
bad news for Hindus and Buddhists and uh, Scientologists and everybody else, but it's good news for us atheists. If that doesn't shut them up off of Pascal's wager, then I don't know.